In this video, we're going to be palpating sternocleidomastoid, which is one of our more superficial neck muscles running up the side of the neck into the head. So we're going to go through all three of its palpations um, for origins and then insertions. So in its name, sternocleidomastoid, um, one of the origins is on the sternum. So what I'm palpating is the most superior aspect of the sternum, which is actually called the manubrium and then kind of right up towards this notch at the top of it, the suprasternal notch. So I'm gonna have my partner here rotate the head slightly away from me, which is known as contralateral rotation, and slightly lift the head up off the table. And you'll see right in this area here that there's a nice tube of muscle attaching the most superior part of that sternum, and you can relax back down. So that is known as the sternal head of sternocleidomastoid. Lateral to that is the attachment off of the clavicle, and this is, again, depending on a reference point, um, somewhat would say this medial third, um, that superior aspect. So I'm gonna again ask my partner to lift their head up off the table. So kind of from the edge of that sternal attachment, you will see the clavicular attachment all along here. So a little bit deeper, it's much broader on that origin. Good. The two of those are gonna run up the side of the neck. So I'm actually just gonna change his neck position making it a little bit easier for me to palpate. So I've lifted up his head. I'm doing contralateral rotation and flexion, which are two of its actions. And that just makes it a little bit easier for me to find its edges in this slack position. Now, as soon as I ask him to lift his head slightly out of my hand, it makes that muscle nicely stick up. So I'm grasping both bellies here, and I'm gonna follow that all the way up towards its insertions. Right in behind the ear here is the first one, which is known as the mastoid process of the temporal bone. And you can relax your head, good. So along here, mastoid process of this temporal bone. And then in behind that, it starts to attach to just the most lateral aspect of the superior nuchal line of the occipital bone, which is right in this area. So if we ask him to lift his head up again, you'll see this first connection going to the mastoid, but it almost slings back a little bit. And this is more our occipital bone attachment right in through here. You can see me pulling on that there. Good. And you can relax your head back down. So that goes through our palpation of it, but I'm just going to explain some of the actions before we go on just to make sure. So because this is running from anterior to posterior, it's gonna act at different parts of the cervical spine. So in our lower cervical spine, this muscle actually causes flexion, but on the posterior aspect, it causes extension, which is known as capital extension. So we have cervical flexion and capital extension bilaterally. If this muscle is acting by one side, with that action, it's also going to cause a contralateral rotation and lateral flexion of the head. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is bring this mastoid process as close as you can towards the sternum. So that's going to conclude the actions of this muscle, and we'll check back for a manual muscle test coming up next.